So what we've got here is the work zone click ratcheting clamp set. Two pieces, $4.99 from Aldi. Now, as far as I know, these are an Aldi exclusive. As you can see right there. Produced for Aldi stores. Made in China, where all the best stuff's made. Keep away from children. Now, just going through, uh, we've got a quick description. Two-piece quick clamp set. 310 by 495 mil. Carpentry and general use. Let's get in here and see what we can do. These just four tire wraps keep it in the box. And that's all I one thing I didn't mention before is that I don't know if you can see there, these can be used as a spreader. It doesn't say that anywhere on the box, so it'd be interesting to see how that copes. So classic. I mean, first impressions. Yes, it feels cheap, but that's because it is cheap. I don't think you'll get a clamp for two pound fifty each from anywhere else. So with that in mind, it feels better than you'd expect. One thing of note: that's a German test mark, I believe. The name gives it away a little bit. So that's been safety tested, which means that I suppose there's a little less chance of losing an eye than there would have been if it had been tested in China being plastic it does appear to be quite rigid the concern I would have is, is this end is that going to stand up to repeated juice but then again £2.50 does it matter all well, this is a piece of wood and let's just see how far we can go before that starts to bend now I'm pulling that with all my strength as you can see, it's not bent, which is quite impressive. So if we just let that off, as you can see, just release the pressure at the back there. So if we just let that off a little bit, let's stick something in this big old vise. Made in England, proper vise. Stick that in there. As you can see, that's in there nice and tight. Now, let's get that on there. Let's see how tight it really is gripping it. That's as tight as it'll go. You can see it's got that good. Now, what's bending there? Something. Now see what, what's happened there is I've actually pulled the jaws off the vise. So perhaps it's not quite a fair test, but something that could happen. So let's just try it again without the jaws, see if we can hold it. It's actually holding up a lot better than you'd think. I've got that round the end. And it's actually, it's not come loose at all. What it's done is it's worked its way into the wood. So first impressions are, it works as a clamp. So that's quite satisfying as a clamp. Obviously, it's going to twist. There's not what you can do about that. It's wood. But in terms of actually pulling out, that ain't coming out of there. And I'm pulling as hard as I can. Having said that, so I've turned it around as a spreader now, as you can see. I've got this vise set up with the jaws at 150mm. So, the first thing to note is obviously you're not going to be able to spread anything smaller than that. I've got my safety goggles on here just in case these things are that strong they uh, bust the vise. As you can see that's as hard as I can pull and we're still not bending. I'm, I'm very impressed that the plastic's not bending out at all. Well obviously if I gave it a crank on the vise 
Still, that's unbelievable. I've just put a quarter turn on that vice and nothing's let go. I think if I went any more, it probably would. But the amount of force that's in that vice, that's quite impressive. So let's compare it to something else that I've got. Now this is an Irwin, similar thing, probably slightly smaller in size, so maybe not as much force there, but it's as long and it was probably double the price. Side by side, as you can see, very similar profiles, but and this surprises me. The handle on the Aldi one feels nicer with the Irwin one. It's a, a hard plastic handle. Very sharp edge there. Just dig into your hand. Dig into the palm of your hand when you're using it. There's no comfort at all. On the Aldi one, you've got the hard plastic again, but it's got a much nicer profile. And it's also been over molded with a sort of soft rubberized handle. Again, over molded. And if you look inside, the handle's actually reinforced. Which the only one is. Well, my controversial opinion is that this Aldi clamp is better than a similar one made by a proper tool manufacturer, Irwin. And it cost half as much. Now, just out of interest, let's see what's actually going on inside here. Let's see what's going on inside there. So now we're inside, we can actually see how this thing works. So, pulling on the handle pushes these two pieces of metal over to the point where they dig in and continuing to push. Pulls the end of the clamp back. See that again. But as I say, I'm quite surprised. This looks quite thick material. And the release is metal. Overall, I'm pleasantly surprised with this. It's uh, it's two pound fifty. That's what you have to remind yourself. Are you going to get better than that for two pound fifty? And I think the answer is uh, is no. They must be selling these at a loss, just to get you into the store. So would I buy Aldi tools again? Definitely. Not all of them. I would pick and choose. But when I see something like this come up, I won't pass it up.